Good afternoon, YouTubers. T-Square here with T-Square Talk. If I got an exciting video for you guys today. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about junk silver. Uh, it's a question that someone had brought up recently. I haven't talked about it in a little while, so I figured it'd be good to kind of talk a little bit about it. Some of the pros and cons when it comes to junk silver. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please take a quick minute, hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on junk silver. Do you like it? Uh, if you don't know what it is, you can say, I didn't even know what it was up until now. Uh, we got a lot of new stackers that have started stacking. And if you're not subscribed, please take a quick minute, hit that subscribe button, help me out. Uh, it really helps out the channel. And if you want to, some people are going to be wondering, why is there a Mexican Libertad sitting right there? Because some of y'all know right now, if you become a member, you have a shot at winning this. As soon as we hit 75 members, we're going to go live, we're going to give this away, and there's only seven or eight spots left right now. If we go over 75, it will be cut off at 75, and unfortunately, you'll still be a member, but you'll have to wait until October. Now, we do have 75 spots in all, however, there's only eight spots left right now. Um, so please, if you want to become a member, you can hit the join button right below. It's only $1.99, uh, it's well worth it. It is a $1.99 a month, but every month we give away some kind of cool giveaway. Uh, we do some kind of fun event and it, it, we're just always giving something cool away. So a lot of opportunity if you do become a member, a uh, lot of perks, a lot of advantages, plus your comments go directly to my phone. They get texted to me, so I do get to reply to pretty much all them comments. So that's pretty cool. If you have a question about something, I'll guarantee to see it, and then I can answer it or do a video on it and answer it like that or whatever the case may be. So today, uh, so if you do want to become one, uh, it's a great opportunity. Only $1.99 a month and you're going to love it. You can cancel at any time. So eight spots left. Okay, with that being said, let's jump into today's meat and potatoes. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about junk silver. So Question came up, uh, you know, wh why do people like junk silver? Is there, what are the advantages of it? What do you think about it? And this and that. So here's the thing. Everybody recognizes junk silver. I got to say that first. First and foremost, because it is so recognized, um, people know right off when something doesn't look right. And I'll give you an example. So one teller actually sent me an email it wasn't a teller. I guess she's a bank manager. But her teller took in a roll. Actually, I think it was two rolls of mercury dimes. Now, these are not the same mercury dimes. But she sent me a picture of them. And she asked me what I thought about them. And I said, wow, you got two rolls of them? Customer came in, wanted to deposit it to pay the electric bill. An old lady. And the teller looked at them and said they didn't even look real. She, you know, they didn't seem real. Something seemed off about them. And so she called the manager. Manager came out, looked at them, and knew right off what they were, especially because she sees me on a regular basis buying change. But she knew because she had been in the business for years, uh, started out as a teller, worked her way all the way up to a branch manager, and knew right off and said, you know, I think they might be worth more than five dollars are you sure you want to just deposit them she said i don't know anybody so i'm just gonna get rid of them for five dollars and deposit them in my account she told the teller you know what put them aside i'm gonna buy them and she ended up getting them a lot of tellers recognize it's different it's easy to spot uh this bag right here you can see the money bag this was a money bag of stuff that a teller had given me but here's the thing. Look at this. I went through all the coins that she gave me. I know there's one coin in here that's not silver. It's this third one. It's actually, it's a different coin, but it's all it is is a Delaware state quarter. However, there's a buck fifty in silver right there. Think about that for a minute. That's $5 a quarter. There's six of them. People recognize they're different. But on the flip side, some people think that eh, it's just a quarter. Not everybody can spot that it's silver. They don't all understand totally what the specialty is. Now, something like this, they're going to recognize that that's money right there. 
because it doesn't look like a Roosevelt dime. If this was a Roosevelt dime and it was silver, like that Washington quarter, uh, not everybody knows. They know they're a little different. They feel funny. They look funny. They sound funny. But they don't fully understand what the deal is with them. And we're going to talk about what the deal is. I think that's a great opportunity because when you can spot coins like this, you can find them in your everyday money. Some people think, oh, you're never going to find a silver quarter, a silver dime, a silver half. So I actually put a live box on my video. I shot the video live opening up a box. It had 109 silver dollars. Now, it wasn't meant to be a live video. I opened up one roll in the box and found two silver do half dollars. Two. Uh, granted, one was a 90% and one was a 40%. But right then and there, I started shooting. I pulled out my camera and started recording. And as I opened them, some rolls had four or five silver. I mean, in there. You're thinking, you know, how is that possible? So a lot of people don't understand silver. You know, maybe great granddad or grandpa so-and-so passes away and kids come in and they're emptying the desk drawer. And there's rolls of coins in there. Why did grandpa keep rolls of dimes? Grandpa was a little crazy. That's what they think. They cash them in. I talked to one girl one day. This was a funny story. It was a teller. And the teller called me up and said, um, hey, we got some uh, silver dollars that came in. I said, silver dollars? What do you mean? And she told me. And she said, we actually had a lot more. But right after, someone bought a thousand of them. The story goes... A lady came in, the grandfather passed away, and turned in all the silver $1 coins. Why? Because the coin star would only take the dimes and the quarters. Now, I didn't have to hear any more to know what those dimes and quarters probably were that got dumped into coin star. But coin star wouldn't take the dollar coins. Why? Because it doesn't recognize those big Roosevelt dollars. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say the bulk of them were silver. Why? Because she had a bunch of silver ones right there. Now, I'm thinking the quarters and the dimes, those were probably silver as well. However, we didn't get the quarters and the dimes. And I ended up missing out on a huge amount. There was altogether, there was 1,020 something of them. 1,027. Some of them were silver. The thousand got bought by one person, a customer that was there when they got turned in and said, hey, just take the thousand bucks out of my account and I'll buy them. And she still had those other ones. They put them in the back, in the safe, and they sat there. Coins get dumped all the time. You guys have all heard stories, but you never really know. I've seen stories and I sometimes wonder, is that real? Uh, but I've also made mistakes on the other side. I've accidentally cashed in stuff. Why? Because I used to keep all my silver quarters and dimes and half dollars in paper. Now, that's a mistake. If you've got silver coins, do not keep them in paper. It was actually a member that told me, do not do that. Break down, buy the box. Now, I have some nice fancy boxes that look like this that cost, literally, this box was $40 to get the tubes, to get the box, everything. My goal is to fill this box. However, it's gonna take a little time, but it will be incredible when I get it done. And it will be a large amount. It'd be a lot of ounces in one of them boxes. I don't even know the exact math, but there's a, there's a huge advantage of junk silver that a lot of people don't know. So if things break down and people want silver, they're going to reckon this is this is literally fractional silver. You know, ounces are great like this. I'll be honest, this ounce right here has a high dollar amount because it's in a cool plastic and it's first strike and it's an MS69 and it's just a rare coin. But at the end of the day, it's a full ounce. Can you imagine if ounce silver goes to its true potential? I mean, if you had to barter, you needed a dozen eggs, a loaf of bread. A silver dime has that capability. A silver quarter 
has that capability. A silver quarter has always bought you a gallon of gas, and even today it will still buy you a gallon or two of gas. And some people say, well, if it always has the same purchasing power, why did a silver gallon at one time buy you a gallon of gas, and now a silver quarter will buy you almost two gallons of gas? Well, there's a couple things at play here. So it, a lot of it is going to depend on the short-term ups and downs of silver, of oil, what's going on in the world. You know, a lot of people right now are getting a little nervous that we're entering into a recession. And some people even believe that the price of silver is going to plunge. And a lot of people don't realize that during recessions, what does go down in value usually? Oil and gas. And take a look at what's going on with oil right now. Oil's in the 60s now. I think it just hit $69 today. And some people are saying, oh, that's because the dollar's getting stronger. <laughs> and I laugh when I hear that, you know, because I do have friends that are like, dude, did you see the oil, the gasoline at the pump today? Man, you're always saying the dollar's going down in value, but look, it buys you more gas now. You know what? In the short time, yes, if the economy goes into a recession, a dollar may buy you more gas. But that's not the true potential, the true value of the dollar. You know, the dollar is losing value because it's a paper currency. All paper currencies lose value over time. Some people understand it and some people don't. That's why you have so many currencies out there that have lost a lot of value. I've showed you guys a lot of different currencies over the years. Look at that. That's a million... Turkish Lear right there. I mean, think of that. Look how much money that's lost in value. This was the original silver certificate back when you can trade a paper dollar for a silver dollar, you know, but now you can't do that anymore. So a lot of these bills just get put off to the side. Oh, there's an actual dollar. So think about that for a minute there. there you can see both. We had a silver certificate. Now we just have a federal reserve note. They had to just call it a federal debt note. You know, but once you understand the advantages of fractional junk silver, I, I kind of feel bad they call it junk silver, but they do call it junk silver uh, or 90% cost constitutional silver. It's great for barter. And in some cases, you can pick it up relatively cheap. What do I mean by that? Well, I can tell you those silver quarters, you remember when I bought them. Because you guys, anybody that's been following the channel for a little while knows I picked up these silver quarters a little bit under spot. How is that possible? You picked it up under spot when everything else is above spot. Because a lot of people don't really want to mess with fractional silver. They don't want to mess with this stuff. I'll be honest, I don't entirely even like this stuff myself. I like one ounce silver rounds. Why? Because it's a lot of value. You can't mess it up. Your kids can't accidentally cash it in. I mean, something like this, my son's not going to accidentally cash that in and take it to the bank. And if he did, they'd look at that and they'd be like, uh, no, that's not United States money. We can't accept that. Now, they could make a mistake and turn these in, but would he, he might recognize the difference on this. My son especially would. But even, I'm saying, average person's child may recognize there's something special about these. They're definitely not worth a dollar. They're worth even more. With junk silver, you have the opportunity to pick it up with a little less premium. Now, are there times in history where it's astronomical? Yeah. It was a video that a big YouTuber did a little while back, and he, he talked about how they're not making any more of this stuff, and it's slowly disappearing. A lot of it got destroyed during the Great Melt. The people that have it are keeping it. They're putting it in books. I showed you guys my dime book that I'm actually working on right here. This is my Mercury dime book. I'm not too far along, but I'm getting there. So I think I'm still missing 43 dimes. Um, you know, so once people realize that, yeah, they want to get their hands on some. But this this YouTuber, it basically, it was crazy because he was a big YouTuber. Exploded the price of junk silver to where a silver quarter was selling for eight bucks. And that's actually what made me realize that I accidentally lost some of my junk silver. And it was kind of crazy when it happened. I was like, what the heck? And then I knew 
that I had accidentally cashed some in. And it was devastating. I, I took a hit for it. I took some jokes with the YouTube community. And I don't keep stuff a secret. I told, said it in my video. And a couple people sent me some funny videos that made me laugh and cry a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have to understand that there's a lot of advantages. Now, disadvantages, what are some of the disadvantages of junk silver? So the fact that it's easily mistaken then people do mistake it. And that's why I say if you put it in little plastic tubes like this, you can't mistake it. That's definitely a disadvantage. The lower premium, because a lot of people don't want it, uh, it means you might have a harder time selling it. And if you do sell it, you might get have to sell it for a little bit under spot. There's not many coins that I can get essentially for under spot. It's rare. Maybe it's because when I pick up stuff from people in my trade groups, I pay very well and I know a lot of people that will take it and pay very well also so a lot of times I can pass that off to other people but junk silver is just not something a lot of people in my stacking group enjoy they prefer the nice cool looking rounds uh, kind of like that one that I just showed you I mean look at this a lot of people look at this coin right here, and some people will say it's a round, it's not a coin. Okay, so I, I went through a lot of uh, disputes on this, but it does have a date. It does have the country. Uh, it has the king. However, it doesn't have a denomination. Well, neither does a silver libertad. I was told if you take this to the country that's on here, you can use it for the silver price and so i'm like or the one pound or whatever they said but why would you want to it's like a silver dollar you know so we've had a lot of debates about this coin however it looks like a round it's just a very nice round and either way people like this kind of stuff they look at this and they're like that's history that's 80 year anniversary of the d-day that's pretty cool um they look at this and yeah it has history but you know if you take these right here these are just Washington quarters. These look like regular quarters to most people. In fact, the person that actually sold these had his collection kind of cherry-picked. I didn't find that out until later, that someone else bought all the Morgans from him. And I ended up getting the junk, the, the silver quarters. And here's the thing. I was happy because I got it a little under spot, but I can't help to wonder if they got the Morgans under spot. I don't know what was said because I wasn't there when it all went down. I only got the quarters here that you see in front of you. The dimes, I've been picking up the dimes for a while. If you followed my trip to Maine, you guys saw I picked up a bunch of these rolls. I think they were $95 a roll at the time for a $5 roll. Um, I think that maybe breaks out to, what, $19.50? 19 and a half to one, um, which is good now. And the price, price looks good now. I think it's a good opportunity. So a lot of people do like it though, because it's fractional. I actually talked to one guy one day. He wanted to start getting into silver. He had about five grand. He tells me he's looking to buy one gram silver bars. <laughs> I almost bursted out laughing at the guy, but I've made some mistakes laughing at people and I felt so bad after because I've been laughed at. I actually had a big bullion company reach out to me and it wasn't a bullion company. It was a coin company, I guess you can call it, but they sell bullion. You know, I, I won't say the company, but they're, they're kind of companies like Universal, companies like U.S. Gold Group. You know, company these companies that promote gold and silver, but they promote collectibles. And I told the guy, I'm looking for silver. Why do you like silver? Is it because, you know, the inflation? I said, I like silver because if I ever have to barter in the streets. The guy laughed at me. He goes, I highly doubt we'll ever have to barter in the streets for silver. And, and chuckled. And I said, you know what? In my mind, I said, if I'm willing to spend money, what does it matter what my belief is? Why I'm spending it? Why I'm buying it? It doesn't matter. Do you want the sale or not? But instead, I just kind of kept quiet after that. And I just kind of said, yeah, I'm just not ready to get into silver. I don't know if I totally believe in it. And I left it at that because I didn't want to deal with them. And I didn't want to deal with the pitch at that point. You know, so a lot of advantages and disadvantages with junk silver. And I'm hoping you guys take some of this 
and think about this when you're out there. I always say if you can get silver, get it for the cheapest possible price as close to spot as you can. It don't matter if it's silverware. If it's 925 sterling silver and you can get it under spot, get it. You can't go wrong, in my opinion, because silver is money. It always has been money. And when it goes back in, I'll say, in trend to where people are selling silver, buying silver, bartering with silver, you know, it's not going to matter what it is. It could be a silver plate, a silver bowl, a silver anything, and you're going to have value. And if you can pick up some silverware, you know, some of y'all know um, one of my friends, Bumblebee, who you might see her in the comments now and then, she picked up a silverware set for five dollars, five bucks. Why? Because it was a bunch of silverware wrapped up in newspaper thrown in a Quaker Oats bottle or a Quaker Oats. I guess you call it a bottle. It's like a cardboard cylinder. Just had a bunch of silverware crumpled and some crumpled up newspaper in there. She said, how much for the kitchen utensils? The lady's like, I don't know. You go five dollars for all of them? She said, yeah, I'll take them. And then she brought them to me, showed them to me. You know, and you guys seen them on the channel and I may even do another video with them because I think I'm going to end up doing a video where I talk about sterling silver and what to look for and what kind of marks, what kind of stuff. Because there's a lot of good deals on sterling. If people want to see that kind of a video, definitely leave a comment. I'd love to see a sterling silver video. You guys know I've got a couple friends. I've got one friend that he specifically deals in sterling silver. Yeah, when he buys it off people, he tries to get it at you know, 80 or 90% a spot. Why? Because, uh, you know, he needs to make something off it later. So it's definitely worth it. But at the end of the day, it's it's a resale thing. You know, it's silver, but it's, you know, for resale. So with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't become a member and you'd like to, like I said, you'll have an awesome shot at winning this. And at the very least, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Help me out. Leave the Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. I just love to read y'all's comments because I use your comments to kind of push to get ideas for future videos. And it does give me. Someone actually brought up junk silver. They said they wanted to see a video on junk silver. You know, and for the record, so for people out there that don't know, it takes a $1.40 to equal one ounce. So that dollar forty could mean four quarters and four dimes. It could mean uh, 14 dimes. It could mean two half dollars and four dimes. It could mean a half dollar, one half dollar, two quarters and four dimes, a dollar forty. A dollar forty and you have an ounce of silver. With that being said, I think I'm gonna go through all these loose ones because I've already gone through these two rolls right here. Searching for my book. I'm going to go through these. Try to put a few holes in my book. Uh, I'm trying just to get a couple a day, even though I know there's a couple that I'm probably not going to find. And it seems like the first page on that book is pretty hard. The early ones, the teens, the 20s, those are a little tougher to find. 30s get easier. So um, 20s or so, so, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep trying to work that book. And I hope to see you guys again on T Square Talk. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye.